Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Boss Labs. My name is Chuy Gutierrez, and today we're gonna do a simple video here in Premiere Pro. And this is for when you're done with your edit. When you're completely done, you've already exported the final version, and you say, hey, I'm probably not gonna touch this project unless something major happens, and I just need to change a graphic or do something here and there. But as far as you know, this project's done. And this is gonna help you just kind of consolidate your files and put them all in one place. So what we're doing is essentially archiving the project, but you can also use it to send it to someone else who might be working on it later on, you know, in a few months or whenever the case may be. So it's pretty simple, but here we have a video from a few weeks ago. This is the one where I was talking about what kind of mic gear I used to do videos like this. And as you can see, here we are on the timeline and it's done. This is the version I exported. There's nothing else I'm gonna to do to this. So in Premiere, we're gonna go up to the file area. We're gonna go down to this button that says here, it says project manager. So file project manager, sorry, I guess in the screen capture, I didn't select where you can see file, but I just clicked on file in Premiere Pro and you clicked project manager. And this window pretty much stays the way it is as far as what I'm doing here today. You can have it do some other things, but most of the time I kind of just leave it as is. It's asking which sequences you're gonna wanna kind of put on this archive. And right now we just have the one sequence that we used, which is called Mike's. And it's asking here, and this is where I usually click, collect files and copy to new location. And the only other thing that I really touch on this is this one right here, which says exclude unused clips. Sometimes you can check mark it, you can uncheck mark it. So essentially what that's gonna do is when it moves all the files to a new location, and what I mean by move, I just mean copy over. It's, if you have it check marked, it's only gonna put the files that you used in this edit onto that folder. So if you know for a fact that you're not gonna be touching any sort of the clips and you're just gonna be working on maybe graphics or messing with some of the audio, maybe changing out the music or something like that, then you can save space by excluding the clips that weren't used. Maybe they were all trash and you only used what you could for this edit. In this case, this is gonna keep this file smaller. If you want everything just in case you might come back to this later, then go ahead and uncheck that. It's gonna make the project size or the folder size much bigger because it's gonna contain all your raw footage, everything that you did use and everything that you didn't use. So after that, we just kind of pick a spot to save it. Let's go ahead and just save it on our desktop. And then we'll make a new folder and we'll just say, you know, mic project for now. So we'll pick it there, and then all that's left to do is to click OK. So there we go, it's copying the media, save the project. Let's go ahead and hide, Command H. And on our desktop, we can see here, it says Mic Project, and when we click on it, we see this folder. Now this contains our raw footage, contains everything we asked it to put in here. So our preview files, the files that I had in other places, like in my Dropbox folder, which are these right here for our graphics as well as the music I had that was probably in my downloads folder. So essentially what this does for me is sometimes when I'm editing projects and they're short projects and I'm on a tight deadline, sometimes I lose track of where I put everything. I try to keep everything kind of nice and neat at the very beginning and then after that it usually just falls apart if I have a really tight deadline. I often work with quick turnarounds so I can do other projects or move on to the next thing. So there is an occasional file or two that sometimes stays in the download folder. It'll stay in you know a different hard drive. So what this does for me is at the very end, puts everything into one spot. Puts everything in one spot, nice and neat, kind of keeps everything in order. So when you double click that project file, it's not gonna ask you to relink any of your clips. It might ask for a preview file here or there, but you will know that everything that was used in that project is in this folder, regardless of where it was before. Now this does just take up more space, so you can figure out what you wanna do from there as far as you know your management of your footage, but this is a nice, easy way to kind of package everything together. If you have any comments or questions, please leave that down in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time. I'm looking forward to talk about the new Apple AirTags if I get them in on time. I will definitely try to make a video where I kind of talk about what I got. So yeah, we'll see you next week.